We are back. We are back. <laughs> Let's try this again, you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, well, I'm glad, hey, A Magnificent, I'm glad you did miss part one because I don't know what was going on with my streaming. I, I mean, it was all bad. I don't know what's going on with the tube today, but we're going to figure it out. Jeremiah Power, yes, we are back. <laughs> Man, I don't know what happened, you guys. That was crazy. Nah, I don't think they hating me. I think, you know, I just think it's a whole bunch of creators, like, just creating. You know what I'm saying? You didn't get a notification? Wow. Wow. That's crazy. No notification. Wow. Man. Oh, man. I hope they're not trying to do that. Like, for real. I hope, I hope they're not. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Cold Heat Studios. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Y'all get them likes up for me. Y'all get those likes up for me. Please, please, please get those likes up for me. Yeah, Monday is a busy day for streaming. A lot of people like to do it at the top of the week. I try to do it like around this time because, you know, um, you know, some of you, I don't know. I don't know why I do it this early. I try to do it really for people that's like outside the country and stuff like that too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we bike in here. Yeah. Believe it or not, I used to say bike like that back in the day. I used to say back bike because I'm from Tampa, Florida, and we say bike instead of back. Us and people from Thomasville, Georgia, say bike like that. That was the first people outside of Tampa I ever heard say bike in that whole area. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope they're not doing that to me. I'm just, I'm just really trying to give you guys some, 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 some game, man. Like for real. <laughs> I hope I don't have Windows 98. Um, uh, yeah, I, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. So everything's looking good, you guys. Everything's looking all right. Everything is looking okay. All right, y'all, let me know. Are you from Bradenton? Yeah, I, yeah, Bradenton too. I used to be down there in Bradenton and Sarasota. I had a girlfriend down there uh, not too, you know, what, not too long ago, but a long time ago. She lived in Bradenton. Bradenton has, you know, it's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? It's actually pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So everything looking good so far, right? We looking good? Everything looking good? Everything looking all right? All good now. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so... What I was saying before, if you guys missed it on the first uh, on the first live was, um, you know, what I was saying is, you might have to get a job, you know, and this is going to be something that I talked completely about, even though I talked about it a lot on the first live, you're going to have to get a job. Like MR says right here, um, um, he makes $50,000 a year driving trucks which is actually very good money, very good money. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yo, what is going on with YouTube today? Yo, what is going on? Yo, YouTube is tripping today, like tripping crazy today. Yeah, like this is crazy. Like, what is going on today? <laughs> like, it is crazy. Yo, it says stream is healthy. Stream status is poor. Let me see here. Stream settings. Yo, I don't know what is going on. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I, I, you guys, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't, I, I couldn't even tell you. I don't know what's going on today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I don't know. This is kind of crazy. But we're on right now, and we're going to see what's going on. So the first thing we talked about the first live was, you know, you might have to get a job. You might have to get a job, or you might have to get something that's going to suffice for that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to get it. Like, VR, uh, I guess VR was saying just now that he makes $50,000 a year driving trucks, and he's completely miserable doing so. And to be honest, it would be much happier making 30000 years if I could make it from doing music. I hear what you're saying. VR, I hear exactly what you're saying. But I'm telling you right now. It will, it's, it's like a shock thing. It's it's like, you know, when you get them endorphins, when you first buy something, it's like, okay, I'm only making $30,000 a year and I'm making music. I hear you. But I'm telling you right now, my brother, once that stuff starts kicking in, I'm telling you, you're going to wish that you had that $50,000 a year job. Because the one thing about it is you know when that check is coming. With music, you do not know when that check is coming. You don't know. Seriously, you do not know when that check is coming. And a lot of people think that it's cool like that, but I went through both sides of that. You know what I'm saying? I went through both sides of it, and I'm telling you right now, music is great if you can do it while you're having fun, but you do not want to be sitting here worrying about your next check, and then you're trying to worry about your next beat to get the next check. Okay? I understand it, and I feel you about you being on the road, because I, I know a lot of people who do drive trucks, and they're on the road a lot. They're on the road a lot, and they really just want to take a break and just make music, which I get it. But you're going to need something to support that music. Now, if you get enough money to where you can, you know, stack some bread up for a few years and then you just want to do music full time, but you have some money to bring you in, that's one thing. But I'm telling you right now, I've been on both sides of the fence, man. And it's 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 crazy. It is crazy. Um. So, yeah, so another thing that I was uh, um, talking about um, um, is engineering. Now, with engineering, you're going to have to, when you're doing the engineering thing, you're going to have to basically throw away, throw away your life when you're doing engineering. Engineering is actually very good. I may start off like around at $1,000 a month, then like $60 a day. And then I did some off stuff, like maybe leasing beats and stuff like that. But that was a complete rat race. Like I literally was every day trying to promote it, trying to promote myself as an engineer and doing all that stuff. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it was cool because I met with a lot of people. But then when you're sitting there and people are telling you to do certain things that you don't really wanna do, like, oh, move this right here, or take this right here, or it doesn't sound right, or do this right here, or sit right here. You're basically on somebody else's time when you're engineering. You can have your own studio and you can have it to where, you know, you have certain times that you're in there. But while you're engineering, you have to make as much money as possible because you don't know when the next session is coming. So you have to be available almost 24 hours out of the day. And it's a lot of things that you miss out on. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things that you can miss out on, especially when you're an engineer, because you might be chilling with your family and somebody might call and say, hey, I'm trying to do four hours. I'm trying to pay $50 an hour for four hours you're not going to pass on that $200 because you're going to need it. And to be honest with you, if you are an engineer and you're making $200, $300 a day, that's roughly, if, you, if you're making a, on average about $200 a day and you're working seven days out of the week, that's $1,400 a month. That's very good money. But in every single case, engineers are not really making that, even at the big studios. Most of the big studios are only paying engineers between $15 and $25 an hour, and that's being generous of giving them that type of money. OK, so when you're engineering like that, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make a ton of money. And then plus, if you are an engineer, you're probably renting out space. So the, that fourteen hundred dollars that you are making, you got to give a portion of that over to the rent that you are renting that space out. And even if you're like a studio owner like me, like I actually own my building, um, you have to pay for insurance every year. You have to pay for the lights. You have to pay for the cable. You have to pay for stuff that breaks. You have to pay for all that stuff. So, yes, I could easily be making Three four thousand dollars a month on my studio, but I'm spending out seventeen hundred dollars a month on just different stuff. So you have to understand that you, you can engineer, but there's stuff that comes with it, and it will suffice for you. But you got to understand that so far as with the job, once you're done with that job, you're done that for that day. Engineering, you got to be ready to go. Sometimes at four or five o'clock in the morning, you got to be ready to go and go do those sessions. It just is what it is. Sorry it has to be that way, 
but it just is what it is. But you can do that to keep some type of income coming in and in between maybe some of your engineering sessions or whatever like that, you can go ahead and work on your beats and do certain things. Or if you're a songwriter, you can work on songs like that as well. And while you're engineering, you can meet up with other artists or whatever. You can kind of squeeze your way into their camps or whatever you can do doing that. You know what I'm saying? So that's another way of doing it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's get these likes up, you guys. Get these likes up. Let's get these likes up real quick. And uh, for everybody who's only here for the first time, you know, I like to accept donations because these lives really don't pay that much. But at the end of the day, they do good enough. But um, I try to do these lives so I can be upfront with y'all. So if anybody um, wants to donate a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, ten dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever you want to give, try to help me out because I'm giving out a game that a lot of people you have to pay for for him to, to give you this type of game out. Seriously. So y'all go ahead and hit those likes up for me. It's real simple. Just hit that like button for me. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you do not like what I'm saying, just go ahead and hit that dislike button. Either way, it's all good with me because I believe everybody has an opinion and I believe everybody's opinion should be respected, even mine. You know what I'm saying? So everybody that's on here in the chat, please state your opinions. Let, let, let yourself be known. Let yourself be heard as well. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So let's let's go ahead and, and be a community here. We with the Bolo congregation. I'm pa Pastor Bolo, and I see all my brothers and sisters on here. And the collection plate is going around right now. So please donate to the collection plate if you already have it. All you got to do is hit that dollar sign at the bottom. Thank you, Sauce Money Beats. Appreciate you for that, man. Hit that dollar sign at the bottom, or you can go ahead and throw me some in my cash app. Either way, it is all good. So thank you guys so much. So, Ducky, man, I appreciate that. Ducky, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. See, that's how the Bolo congregation is, man. I love y'all guys, man, for real. So um, another thing that um, what you guys need to understand is um, do what you're good at. One thing that I did find out, you know, not just engineering or whatever, I found out that a lot of you guys who are producers or writers or engineers, a lot of you guys are very good at doing video work. It's unbelievable how many of you guys are very good at doing video work. Like, I think that's like the coolest thing, like with guys who know how to pick up a camera and can film themselves and do things like that. That's another great way of making a source of income without making a major placement and that is just doing video work very cool for doing video work you know what i'm saying so i think that is i think that is super dope um we're going to keep pushing on i see that youtube is having a problem today jay burke i appreciate you that for that man thank you uh casanova tv thank you so much Y'all stay on here with me. If y'all can hear me, stay on here with me. I am still on here. We still working it out. There's actually a problem with the tube today. Okay? It's actually a problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Best video editing app on iPad Pro. Thank you, um, Planet's Arm. It is Luma Touch. You know what I'm saying? Luma Touch. Thank you so much. Um yeah, so if you guys are doing video editing and stuff like that, I'm telling you guys right now, that is a great way of doing it. But when you're doing video editing stuff like that, of artists that way, you can get in good with a lot of artists that way. Thank you, Wesley Wolf. Thank you so much. That is one of the best ways of doing this. Okay, one of the best. Uh, and you can get in with a lot of artists by doing their videos. Be trying to get as much information in today uh is you know don't know why the tube is acting like that with me right now but we're trying to uh we're saying like um it's it's crazy it's crazy it's it's, it's
Can you guys still hear me? Can y'all still hear me? Let me know. Put like a thumbs up or something if you, if you guys can still hear me. Let me know what's up. Yeah, I don't know what's going on today. Thank you. Produced by LOQ. Thank you so much for that. Can you, can you guys still hear me? Let me know something. Let me know. 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 Let me don't know what's going on today, but we're going to try to figure this out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Trying to see what's going on today. Don't know what is going on today. Are we back on? Man. You can still hear me? I'm back. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you shouting on. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's cutting in and out on me today, man. This is this is bad. This is bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. The sound is good, right? We just the video is not good, right? Okay. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Who would have ever thought I'd have been going through this? I hope this don't happen tomorrow night. <laughs> I seriously hope this doesn't happen tomorrow night. I hope so. Let's see. So we back on right now? Yeah, that's crazy. All right, so we back on? Everybody back on? All right, you guys. Hey, we got somebody in the comments by the name of Rex Winter. I want everybody to look at him and let everybody see Rex Winter's post. He says, hey, big monkey D. Bolo. Bolo with the big banana peel monkey ass. Love your videos. Learning a lot about Ebola. Let's everybody give a rip, big round of applause for Rex Winter on here. Let everybody know how I do on here with Rex Winter. Let Rex Winter know what's going on and how we how we move on my channel. Y'all let Rex, Rex Winter know that we don't do that on my channel. Come on, Rex. How you going to talk about me like that, Rex? And I'm not even going to block you. I'm going to leave I'm going to leave it on here. I'm going to leave that thing on here. Come on, Rex. Rex, where you at? Everybody everybody say hi to Rex. Everybody say hi to Rex, y'all. Hey, y'all, look at Rex Winter right here. Rex Winter. Yeah. Okay, appear to be good now. We good? Ooh, man. This has been rough today, man. <laughs> Everybody give a big round of applause to Rex Winter. Rex has been on here talking about I have a huge... He says, I have a huge D. <laughs> Let everybody know. Yeah, you just blocked dog already. Yeah, he's getting blocked. Everybody just go ahead and, yeah, we always got weirdos on here. <laughs> Come on, we gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show all of his stuff on here. I'm going to show all the stuff on here for Brother Wex. He wants to be famous today. So he's going to get blocked by a lot of people today. <laughs> I 
Come on, Rex. Let everybody know who you are. We're going to let everybody know who you are. Come on, we're going to get this whole segment to Rex right now. <laughs> Come on. He wants to be funny today. We have a comedian on today. Let's go, Rex. Keep coming. Keep, where's Rex at? Where's he at? <laughs> That's what you do to people. You, when you when they want to have a stage, y'all give them to him. Give, give him that platform, and he's got to keep coming on here. Come on, Rex. That's what you do with people who do stuff like that on here. <laughs> they don't do that in Oakland at all. <laughs> Man. It's crazy what guys do for some attention. Oh, man, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Come on, man. He He's back again. He's back again. He's back again. <laughs> but I love it. Yeah, he a child. <laughs> He's a child, man. Y'all gotta let kids do what they do. When, pe when, when, when people don't have nobody to give it to them, and people don't have nothing else to do, this is the type of stuff they do all day. I'm gonna show all this. I'm gonna show all this post. This this is the type of stuff they do all. Rex is the type of person that when you go to their house, like he probably lives filthy as hell and plays games all day. <laughs> has no girls, has no life, has no nothing. He might be a girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he might be. <laughs> I know they jokes us. These jokes suck. He's not good at all. Yeah, 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 he's definitely a wacko. Yeah. You, you have to deal with that sometimes. It's all good. <laughs> we used to have a Rex roasting session right now. Since the internet wants to trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who sent you? All right. So it looks like I'm on for a little bit right now. I think I'm pretty good. So I, I think we've been on consistently now for about five minutes, right? <laughs> oh, man, I love y'all, man. What do I think about the machine? I might be picking one up this week. I still won't use my MP, but I might just pick up the machine just to try it out. You know what I'm saying? And if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, um, we'll see. <laughs> uh, Chef Boy AB says, on behalf of the whole Northern California, especially Oakland, okay, we do not condone Rex's winter, <laughs> winter annex. <laughs> He'll get beat. I, I'm pretty sure he would. I, I got a lot of people in Oakland, too, that's that's dope people, and they don't, they don't do that. Yeah, you're probably a little whack. <laughs> yeah he's probably he's a kid he's a kid and if he's like super old he's still like a kid <laughs> either way but it's people like that come on all the time man it's all good he came to the right place today but um yeah so what i was saying before um why the live was a little messed up was um definitely about uh uh a lot of you guys are really good at doing photography and videographer stuff. You know what I'm saying? So um, that is another good way of meeting up with artists and doing things. And I know I notice a lot of you guys are really good with just like an iPhone. So just imagine how you guys would be with like a real camera. And I have a real good camera, you know, here at the crib. I got a really good camera here. And... Uh, and I'm nowhere near as good as some of you guys. I I'm just I just wanted to buy the material that could get me to the uh get me to, you know, being um a better uh YouTuber. And I'm getting there. I'm still learning about lighting and stuff like that. And I bought some stuff thanks to you guys and all the donations and everything and y'all watching my videos. 
like um I'm it's getting a lot better with uh you know the writing uh, I mean not the writing but it's getting a lot better with like the lighting and um it's getting really good with like me knowing my settings in my camera and just learning stuff like that so uh you know that's another great 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 way of so you know getting an income in without a major placement now um okay so mike okay so the machine so everybody's my machine okay uh machine three mk3 don't get don't buy the machine plus okay so if i do get the machine don't get the machine plus that's what y'all are telling me okay all right i'm gonna try it out i heard some decent things about it so i might i might try it out all right so this is another thing you don't have to have a big placement you actually can have smaller placements and by that um, what I mean by having smaller placements is you can still get on albums with people who are signed to labels, but they might not be signed to major labels. Or some of them can be signed to major labels. Some of them could be signed to RCA. Some of them could be signed to to Capital. Some could be signed to whatever label. But they could be signed to some of these smaller labels. Or they could just be independent artists who have a nice little buzz. And if you keep working on that, say for instance, you do a whole mixtape with them and you try to get a little bit of, you know, you get a little bit of traction with the tape, you know what I'm saying? Then you can make some money off the back end, which is the publishing side, but that takes a little time, okay? Takes a little time to do that. Of course, we know other ways, you know, um, how you can get paid up front and everything like that, but a lot of times you do these mixtapes, you're not getting anything up front, you're just getting nothing but just strictly publishing. You know what I'm saying? So... That would be something that would be very good for a lot of you guys. And like I tell you guys a lot of times is try to link up with other artists and try to be their producer or be their writer or be their engineer. That way you can lock in with that artist and then it could be something that could be something that could be really cool with. You know what I'm saying? Um, Sauce Money Beats. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that, man. Um so a lot of things is YouTube, selling yourself on YouTube, putting your beats up on YouTube, uploading. Of course, doing the lease route, um, which I did, um, which I did the lease route for a while, which I did pretty good with. I used to make pretty decent money doing leases, but I just didn't want my beats flowing around everywhere out there. And then plus there was so many other people who had better tracks out there than, than I did. I'm more of a person that has to work with somebody directly like that. So, um, you know, if you can go in and collab with some other producers or whatever and, and put your beats out for lease, that's another good way of trying to make some extra income while you're trying to chase that one really big placement. And like I try to tell a lot of you guys is, it's not about, you know, it's not about just chasing, 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 because I want you guys to understand that doing music, you're just supposed to be happy doing it. It's, it'll just be great just for you being happy to do music. Just be happy making music. That's the main thing. And that's what people fail to realize with a lot of this stuff is that a lot of people are not happy making music. Yes, you can make music all day, but are you happy doing it? And I'm going to tell you right now, nothing's worse than you making a beat and you got six, $700 worth of bills that are not paid yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Like, you got to take care of that stuff, Okay. You got to take care of it, and you really got to understand that you to, to use your talents to make extra money before you get that really big placement. Because I try to tell you guys a lot of time is this is I'm coming from the point of having that one really big placement. Like every year, there's like ten records, especially hip hop wise, that come to be really, really, really big records, and those records can really take care of you for the rest of your life, or for a good portion of your life, but. At the end of the day, you know, you have to stay up. You know what I'm saying? You have to stay up to get to that point. And you're going to need some type of outside money to get to that point. You're going to need it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need it. Like I said before on the first live, I do take loops. But if I take the loop, I, you know, you send in the loop. And then I'm taking the loop and I'm adding my stuff to it. And then I take the loop and I find an artist that wants to get on it. Then they get the placement with everything. I'll be honest with you guys. You're not going to get 
we're not going to split the publishing. I would still give you some publishing, but it's not going to be that half split because I'm doing most of the work. I just have to be totally honest with you guys with that. But if you want to try to get a placement and get your foot in the door, you know, I do take loops. You know what I'm saying? And you can leave the loops uh, in my uh, Gmail account, which is right here. I got my Gmail account listed. You can go ahead and send the loops there, and then we can get it popping. And, uh, like, at the beginning of my first stream, I played a beat with me and T9C. Um, he's a dope loop maker. He sends a lot of loops every single week. And, you know, I liked it, and I made a beat to it. I'm going to play this beat for whatever artist I can get into the studio with, whether it be a new artist or an old artist. I'm going to try to do as much as I can. But I try to do stuff that makes me happy. And that's what you have to understand, too. And that's why I keep saying how can musicians make money without a major placement? First thing you have to do is you have to take care of your bills. A lot of us are a little bit older. Some of us are over the age of 15. We don't live with our parents. We have bills out here. And if you all live with your parents, you need to kind of contribute some way or whatever, however you can. But try to take care of yourself first, then take care of the music. Because if you if your music is going bad and, you, and yourself is bad too, that's not a good combination. Not a good combination at all. That leads to a lot of mental health issues and stuff like that. And you really need to get <laughs> get that together. Like for real. You know what I'm saying? The main thing I tell a lot of people is, yeah, you might not be getting as much publishing as, as possible, but I would rather take 8% of 100 than to take 100% of nothing. Okay, <laughs> that's the thing about it. I'd rather take 8% of 100 than 100% of nothing. And that's what some of y'all guys understand with. Like Cold Heat, yeah, 10%. It's plenty of records. I ain't going to lie to you. It's a record that I actually took less publishing on because the artist was actually younger. I actually wrote the whole song. The song is double platinum right now. And I took less money on the artist because the artist was younger. I, it was allocated 20%. I could have took really 15% of it, but I kept eight and I gave the artist 12, believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? So it's not necessarily about a money thing with me. It's about a principal thing with me when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if you want to um, if you want to try to get your way into the door, hey, I'm all for it, my guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Send me some stuff and we'll get to it. Um, if you got some beats, if I help get the beats in, I'm going to get a piece of the publishing. That's just how it works. You know what I'm saying? And I like to be upfront with people so it won't seem like, oh, man, he took some of my publishing or whatever. No, I'm upfront. If I'm doing most of the work and I'm I'm getting your stuff in and nobody knows who you are, then I'm going to do it, which is a segue to the next part of this, and that is uh, beats and loops. I don't care if it's me. I don't care whoever it is. If you have beats and loops and you're trying to make some quick money and you're trying to do some stuff, you know, behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? You might have to send it to somebody else, but you're not going to get your full pub. I'm just sorry. It's not going to happen because these people out here doing work that you could not do. So you're going to have to give up something to get something. And a lot of times that's publishing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times that's publishing. So... You know what I'm saying? Like, understand that you can't get everything your way, especially in this game. You have to give up something. And a lot of times you either have to give up time, you have to give up money, you have to give up publishing, you have to give up upfront money. It's a lot of stuff that sometimes you might have to give away. All right, JC Music, what's, the, what's your best drum kit? All of them. Get all my drum kits. <laughs> all of them. All of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um... And also, like, you know, as you can see, a lot of loop makers are starting to make their name for themselves, but a lot of them have to be attached to bigger producers. As much as a lot of these loop makers may feel like, oh, I'm doing all the work, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, at the end of the day, if you don't want to send me no loops, I guarantee you somebody else will send me some loops, and I, I won't skip a beat. I'm telling you. Do you think, like, 808 or TM or anybody else is worried about if a producer gets mad and leaves? No, nah, because guess what? It's going to be a 10,000 more who's going to be ready to do whatever. 
You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if if I'm doing most, if, if I'm getting you the placement, you're sending me the loop, and I'm adding my drums and stuff on it and arranging everything and doing it, and I send it over to an artist and I get it placed, and we might not get no upfront money, we might, but if I'm getting the publishing and all that stuff for you, guess what? I did something that you could not do. You know what I'm saying? It is. Ducky, I already know, man. We already discussed this already. We're going we gonna to do it. We're going to do it. I just got to get the right timing and everything. I'm a timing person, so I just, I'm one of them people that, you know, if I feel like it, I'll do it, but I don't like to just be there and I'm not in it. Like, I like to be in it. So when you, when you come by and we cook up, like, I want to be in it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the way I am. Another thing is, um, you know, some of you guys are good producers. Some of you guys might be better managers. You know what I'm saying? Understanding your role. That could be another thing. You could manage other producers and make some money like that as well. You know what I'm saying? So there's so many different things. But going back to what I was saying before, if you do not have a stream of income, you might just have to get a job. Okay? There is nothing wrong with getting a job. Let me explain this again. There is nothing wrong with getting a job. I don't know why everybody feels like it's who does music. They feel like it's so wrong to get a job. No, it is not. Once you get off of that job, you can focus on your dream. Somebody said that just now. The job is for you to make money, for you to focus on your dream. Okay? And all the people out there say, oh, man, if I work for somebody else, I'm not making all the money. Well, okay, it's a lot of times where you can work with somebody and make $60,000 a year, and it's a lot of people who do have their own businesses that make $15,000 a year. So you can pick your poison. But then some people say, oh, man, but, you know, I'm working for myself. You know, I can do this and do that. But you're running yourself crazy because you're working 24 hours straight. A job never, um, a job starts and stops. You and your own business, it never ends. It never ends. And some people are better made for a job. Okay? Some people are better made for a job rather than being a business person because being somebody in business you have to understand certain things. You have to understand that you, first of all, have to be grounded, number one. You have to know how to use your money. You have to know how to spend your money. You have to know how to promote yourself. You have to, you have to know about marketing. You have to know about all these other things. All these other things. When you're working for somebody, they're just paying you to do what they tell you to do. Now, some people don't like bosses. Some people might not like their job. Switch jobs if you can. I don't care if you are working a desk job or working a forklift. Yeah, for them eight to 10 hours out of the day might be a grind, but at least when you get off that job, you're off that job. You're done. And you can focus on getting to where you want to be. The job is that investment. Yes. And with some of these jobs, you're getting actual 401ks. You're getting all this other type of stuff. With music, there is no 401k. You can do certain things with your music money like I've done. I put them in certain investments or whatever like that. But there's no 401k. When you, and there's no real retirement. When you retire from music, there is no 401k. You get your little retirement stuff from, you know, if you pay your taxes and stuff, right? But other than that, there ain't no 401k when you retire. And even if you do music, like I said before, even if you do music and things don't work out the way they work out, you might have to go back and get a job. That's just what that's just what it is. Like right now, if I wasn't doing as good as I'm doing right now and I had to go work, I would go work. I don't really have that many skills, so I either have to learn how to learn learn a trade or do whatever. Like I tell a lot of people, learn a trade. You know what I'm saying? They always looking for factory workers and stuff like that. Well, at least until the robots take over, but they're still looking for people to work in factories and stuff like that. And yes, it is a grind, but I would rather you know that that check is coming because music, you don't know when that check is coming. You don't know. 
So use that income to put into something else. You might need to get a job. All right, you guys, let's get these likes up. Let's get these likes up, you guys. Get these likes up. Let's get these likes up. Let's get these likes up. And if you haven't donated, please donate. Please, 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 please. We're at, um, right now, we're at $82.81. I appreciate everybody who has donated. Let's go ahead and try to get to a hundon today if we can. We're at $82.81. If we can get up to a hundon, that'll be really great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The collection plate is still flowing right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the Bolo congregation. But the good thing about it is I'm a good pastor because I'm going to tell you the truth. Pastor Bolo is going to tell you the truth. I'm going to try to tell you the truth as much as I can. And if you guys got any questions right now, go ahead and fire off as many questions as you can right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go work, Jay Burke. Go work for Cisco. Whatever you got to do. Whatever you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Bachma Blackman, 95% of your equipment came from having a job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to have a job. And I'm going to tell most people right now, go get a job while they're hiring right now. If you don't have a job and you're trying to do music, you're doing a disservice for yourself. Or if you're not at least engineering, if you're not finding like some type of a trade to make money, but you're going to have to make some money. And I'm just trying to give you some ways to let you know that I'm a multi-platinum producer and I'm telling you guys right now, if I had to, I would get a job. Like, truthfully told. And some people think I'm, I'm, I'm BSing about this, right? If somebody came to me right now and they said, Bolo, oh, Jeff the producer, he put us over. Thank you. Jeff the producer, thank you so much. I appreciate you, homie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I kid you not, if somebody came to me right now and they say, Bolo, we have a job for you, a nine to five job. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Viral Beast. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. But truth be told, if somebody came to me and said, Bolo, we're going to pay you $70,000. You have to work a nine to five. Okay, but the job is not too far away. It's enough to where I can go get my kids and stuff like that from after school and stuff like that, and I won't be late. If somebody offered that to me right now, even though I am a multi-platinum producer, I would take it. Thank you, Sound of Joy. Thank you, Letha Jackson Assassin. Thank you, Milkman Productions. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Yes, he worked. I worked a job. He said he was grinding 30 hours a week along with being a full-time student, started DJing. Cut out time jobs, start focusing on music. Those refund checks help too. Sure did. Come on. You know what I'm saying? If somebody offered me that right now, $70,000, even $60,000 right now a year, okay? And all I had to do was get up and work a nine to five. And then from that five o'clock all the way to like one o'clock in the morning, I can still do music? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get two hundo. Hey, 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 we can get the two hundo, man. That'll be that'll be great too. Thank you. That'll that'll really help out a lot. You know what I'm saying? That'll really help out a lot. But I'm telling you right now, like Jeff the producer, he was an auto mechanic. It was a grind, but it it but it, it set him free. Thank you. Thank you, Sauce Money. Goodness gracious, man. Thank you guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Please don't waste your first world privileges. It's hard down here on a third world McDonald's requires a college degree. I, I feel you on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Trace to certificate can get you $80 an hour. That is right. There is nothing wrong with that. Y'all guys get what I'm saying. And I'm telling you right now, as a platinum producer, as a multi-platinum producer, if somebody offered me $60,000 a year to work for a job, nine to five, I would do it. And that's what some people don't understand is even when you get out of work at, say for instance, you got to work at five o'clock and say for instance, you got your kids and you might want to play with your kids. You can play with your kids, do what you got to do seven, eight o'clock at night or what time they go to bed at nine o'clock at night. You still got four hours to focus on your music. Well, you know, you got a wife, you might have three, 
But you know what I'm saying? You still have those hours to focus on your music and still go to bed at one o'clock, get up around by eight or seven thirty, still get by six hours worth of sleep and go back to work. And then you still got all the weekends. And then if you can attribute some vacation time or whatever, you got vacation time, you can take your beats with you on the road. You can do all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And you can put that into the music and then you can keep making beats because I mean, truthfully, honest, man, a lot of us were in the studio, but a lot of studio time is dead time. Yeah, we might be in the studio for eight hours, but we're really only working, truthfully told, for maybe about three or four. It's a lot of dead time in the studio. So you're not sitting here. Some people, if you sit here making beats for 16 hours out of the day, I feel you. It's some people that really do that, but they, they usually have somebody supporting them. Like, people don't understand. Like, everybody's like, well, you know, Kanye West was making all these beats, but he had somebody that supported him. He had a mother that supported him and she gave him that time to do all of that. That's why he rewarded her so much. That's why he loved her so much. Now, if you have, if you're, you know, living at home and your parents want to support you, that's great. You know what I'm saying? But understand when you do get to that point, you better pay them back. You better, you better pay them back. But if you don't have that, have something to support you and don't look at it as, oh, I'm working for the man, the man has been working or whatever. No, that man gave you a job and he's giving you a lot of money to where you can buy a house and buy a car and you can go ahead and live out your dream. That's what that man is doing. Okay. <laughs> you just made me look inside. And it's true. Like even my girl, she wants time with me. And one thing about it is while you're doing music, you want to have time to where you can have money to do other things to, to reset your mind. You can't do music every single day and not reset your mind. Sometimes you have to go out with your wife or your girlfriend or your kids or whatever. And or in your women women's case, you have to go out with your boyfriend or, you know, go out with your husband or whatever like that. And you and you want to have some money to go out to eat and all that stuff like that. You might want to do that. You might want to go out on a nice Friday date or a Saturday date or maybe a day date. You don't have to go at night every single time. Just go out through the day. And then the whole evening, you can go and do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's crazy. It is crazy. So that's, you know, that's what we want to do. Thank you, Rio the Ghost. Thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate you. Appreciate everybody, man. I really appreciate you guys. But, you know what I'm saying? Jay Burke, facts. When you're in a position of finan financially where you can make the ample time to music, take advantage. Because guess what? I'm telling you right now, beats sound so much better when, you're, when your lights are paid for, when your car is paid for, when your rent or your mortgage is paid down, everything is good. Trust me, you make way better music that way. Way better music. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Sound of Joy. Appreciate it. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> message get a job do something i don't care if you got to dig holes i don't care if you got to cut grass i don't care whatever i don't care if you got an engineer or whatever don't just think that you're just sitting home and you're just making beats is going to make you money no i know um okay how close are you to 200 now i'm at 182.79 you know what i'm saying i'm cool but thank you guys i don't need nothing else from you guys i am cool don't nobody doesn't have to send nothing else I'm good. I just like kicking it with you guys like that. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Nobody has to donate nothing else. At least today, you don't have to do nothing. I appreciate it. Okay? Nothing. All right? I just I just want you guys to stay on here. Like, don't donate no money. Just stay on the live as long as you can. That'd be great. You know what I'm saying? That'd be great. You know what I'm saying? So... My thing is, if you have supporting parents or whatever like that, um, if you have supporting parents, uh, Milkman, I'm at 182.79, but I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah. Uh, hey, 
Produced by Tips. They told him was cutting hair. Barry Gore is working at a vehicle plant. Don't be too proud to handle your business. You all right? Hey, I was working at the, I was working at Walmart, and and I was an RA at the school. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I I did it. I only worked at Walmart for like a year or so, and I was RA for a couple months. I've never really had like no real job, but I thank God that you know you put me in the position I'm in. But I did engineer for a lot of years. I engineered. And, you know, as much as I love being in the studio, engineering was something different because if somebody called you at 10 o'clock at night, you had to go. You had to do it. So, and then sometimes I didn't even get paid for it, to be honest with you. But, um, but Jerry, hey, thank you, man. You know, thank you so much, man, for just staying on the live, man. You know what I'm saying? Jay Burke, you know. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I'm going to start doing more lives, man. I'm going to start doing more lives for you guys. Um, if I do, I, I might make some beat making videos and stuff like that. But, you know, I want to start doing more lives and bringing people in here on live like I did last Friday when Bricks came on live and we just kind of discussed. You know what I'm saying? But Jerry, I appreciate you just staying on. Like that's that's better than any donation right now. Just staying on and listening to what, um, um, what I'm saying because this is coming from a place of, inside my heart because I take this very seriously because I know what I went through. Like you gotta think I had to go through, you know, having a placement, you know, and then kind of the placement getting kind of ripped away from me for a little bit. Then going to another placement and not making no money off that. Then going through the recession. And trying to engineer and have a studio. Flint Martinez, thank you. Thank you. Thank you from Platinum Home Cleanings. Hey, y'all look up Platinum Home Cleanings. Look up Flint Martinez. Appreciate that, man. I really do appreciate that. But um, but like I'm saying with you guys right now, like um, it's coming from a place of realness because during the recession, you had to think it started from really, it started going to effect like 2009 and we really didn't get out of it until about early 2014. And it was still kind of bad. And then you have to go through all type of stuff that was going on. And then now we, we went through the whole pandemic and stuff like that. I had to fight and claw my way out of that whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, Ducky, we were third ship at a mental health house. Boy, I know you deal with it. And my homeboys used to do it. But, you know, you still made beats. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I try to tell everybody, you either find a talent Find a trade. If you're not, if you're not a person that wants to go to college or anything, go to a trade school. Find a trade. Find something to make you happy. You know what I'm saying? Find something to make you happy. Find some, find something that you can do to put some money to the side, or you can pay your bills, live good, live comfortable, and still be able to do music on the side. Okay? That's all I'm asking you guys to do. And I want to hear success stories. I want to hear these success stories for you guys. Of course. I really do. And uh, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to set this thing up to where you guys can actually call in and and, and talk directly with me and stuff like that and, and let me know you know what's going on. Like uh, C.R. Johnson, security guard for 13 years, didn't choose it, had to do what he had to do. Easiest deal he ever made. <laughs> it helped me stack a few investments. That's what this whole thing is about. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not one of these people who are going to sell you these dreams about, oh, you just keep producing, you keep working, you keep doing this, it's just going to come. Yes, it will come, but you still need to take care of the bills that's going on. You got to do it. You got to take care of the bills. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this maybe on the next live or whatever, but you know, at the end of the day, we're going to keep going a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, man. You know what I'm saying? Community college is a great thing. Yes, we're gonna, you know, we're going to talk about that. So what I'm going to be doing a little bit more is I'm going to talk a little bit more about, you know, not so much about the, the you know, art of producing everything. I'm actually going to be talking more about sustaining the income of our production and trying to find certain ways. Thank you, Milkman. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Reverend Bolo. <laughs> Oh, man. Thank you guys to the congregation, man. Thank you guys so much, man. Thank you guys to the Bolo congregation, man. All my brothers and all my sisters out there. And y'all know, anytime you guys see me, 
Like I met a few people on the belt line uh, yesterday and they came up to me and they were like, Bolo? And I was like, yeah, it's me. And they was like, oh man, we a part of congregation. I'm like, y'all my brothers and sisters. Give them, give me a hug. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Give me a dap. Well, I get a few of them a dap up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I have a mask on or whatever. Even though I am, I am vaccinated. I did, I did. I am vaccinated. I haven't, I have not grew a third arm yet and I have not turned to a zombie yet. So I am vaccinated and I'm good. Um, but when you see me, it's all love. I try to have conversations with you guys. You know, everybody who meets me know it's all love. You know what I'm saying? And we have a great time meeting up, man. And it's, it's just a great experience to see you guys as well. So, man, I appreciate you guys com coming on here today. We're going to be talking more about this, getting a little more in depth, even though I talked about this enough. And I think my next slide will be about, hey, getting a job to sustain music. And we're going to go a little bit deeper in that. But I got to go ahead and wind this thing down. It was a rough day today at first, but it seems like the tube's got everything fixed up right now. I got an excellent feed going on. Everything is good, and we're good. So I appreciate everybody who's donated today. I thank you guys so much. If you can't donate on here, donate to my cash app because the tube does take about 30% of what you do donate on here. So I appreciate everybody who has donated and I thank you guys so, so, so much for just supporting me and supporting everything that I do on here tomorrow night. Oh, producer club, Sarah Dow's in the studio with Pharrell. And what you're saying is what he was saying. He was saying, don't stop going, but take care of your home first. Wow. Producer club. Great, 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 great story right there. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. But yeah, so we're going to talk about more about this, about becoming financially stable in music. And I'm really going to be beating this into your heads because I want to see you guys really come out here and make it. And I'm tired of seeing people mentally going down the drain because they can't do a lot of stuff. And um, been in the shop 17 years long, making music, got to grind, stay focused on your dream because yeah, that's right. You got to grind and stay focused. But I want to let you guys know, man, um, that I want to see you guys make it. I'm tired of seeing people going through it mentally. You know what I'm saying? Um, trying to focus on their goals because music is a hard thing to get into. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? And it takes a lot and you will spend a lot of money on it, even on just programs and stuff. People are like, well, you're going to spend a lot of money on just this, but come on in music, buying something new just makes you feel good or just getting it new for all you people who like to rip everything. But, you're going to need some type of money at some point and you're going to need to be mentally stable to make the best music that you can make. Trust me, the happier you are, the better the music is going to come out. So I appreciate everybody who donated today. I appreciate for everybody who worked with me through the lives. I appreciate everything. And hopefully tomorrow we won't have these problems with the, uh, with the settings because I don't need to have this happen during, uh, <laughs> during the beat review definitely definitely do not need that so um i appreciate you guys so much love you guys love the bolo congregation make sure y'all come back <laughs> and for the next live which may be uh wednesday i believe um i think i'm having mr hanky uh who produced um twerker later for the city girls he produced um so many records with samples in it so for all you samplers out there i will be talking i will be getting up with mr hanky tomorrow if i can get the video ready by thursday i will have it up by thursday for the producer spotlight hopefully he'll make a beat but we're really going to be talking about sampling and getting stuff cleared and uh talking about his process and stuff like that so uh mr hanky will be up next on the producer spotlight and i'm gonna be having another producer come on who's worked with dirt and stuff like that and I'm going to have some younger producers come on and do some cook-ups like that as well. So I'm going to try to look out. And I'm going to look out for some of you guys as well. I might need to get Ducky DeVito to come on here and do a cook-up with me and put him on the, on the spotlight as well. And uh, people like Jay Burke and a lot of people who come on and uh, who have spent money with me and has been on a lot of stuff. So if I can, I'm going to try to help you guys out as well. It might not be now, but in the near future, hopefully we can get it done. So, um, yeah, had a great time with you guys, man. Thank you for everybody who donated. Look out for me on Wednesday. Beat review is tomorrow. Thursday, possible uh, producer spotlight review, or we'll do something else. And we're just going to have a good day. And, uh, 
yeah, I want to hear where you guys work at. I want to hear how you guys produce, and we're going to talk about that again this Wednesday. All right, you guys.